Hello, Nick with Clean PC here, and today we're going to be doing a Linux review on Manjaro Linux, the KDE version 23.0.4. And just want to say howdy to everybody. It's been a few years. I took a couple years off. I've uh, been busy with life, but had to get back to my Linux distribution reviews. So again, today we're going to look at Manjaro KDE 23.04. So over here, we've got it booted up, and you can take a look. We're at the welcome screen. So Manjaro does a nice job, gives you this welcome screen. Again, shows you documentation, support, and the project. Um, if you start using Manjaro, you really like it, um, please do consider donating. I know a lot of people put a lot of time um, at no cost to them or to Manjaro into making this distribution great. So if you use it and you like it, uh, please donate to the Manjaro team. So with that, this is the stock installation. Uh, currently running this on Proxmox. So we've got four cores and eight gigs of memory. And with it, you can see we've got a really nice display. Um, Manjaro KDE 2304 um, definitely looks really, really sharp. Uh, down here, we can see we've got our link to our documents, terminal right here, Firefox, add remove software, and over here, we got sound, we've got our network, we've got our uh, install ISO file. It's pretty cool. Again, very visually pleasing, really nicely done. So if we click on the start menu here, application launcher, you can see um, it gives you the option up here for your favorites. It'll give you all applications. Um, and this is kind of nice, actually. You're able to see everything that's installed, right? So it does it alphabetically, kind of nice. So you can see everything. And my scroll's not working, so we'll just take this down. So you can see all the different applications that are installed. Actually kind of love HTOP is installed. <laughs> They've got it on the uh, start menu. So if we hit that, we can see this run in here. I'm just going to move this up to the corner. And you can see. Um, after boot, we're about 776 megs out of 8 gigs for memory. And currently not really stressing the processor out. Um, we can see our usage over here. Love HTOP, great tool. Just want to highlight that. So back here, again, if we go to all applications, uh, I cannot scroll. If, oh, there we go. I can scroll in here. So again, we can see we got HTOP installed. Uh, kind of nice info center, so I'll click on this. Again, tells you all about the system, right? So we see the KDE Plasma version, the framework, the kernel version, graphics, you can see the hardware. Pretty cool. And again, if we choose system monitor here, it'll show you a different view. Obviously, we got HTAP running in the background, but this is nice as well. Again, showing you memory, getting a little bit different um, usage here versus here, 955, this is saying 1.2. That's okay, still a nice system monitor overview, how much space we're using, again, not really stressing the CPU out. You see our host name, the operating system, again, network, wired, pretty sweet. So really nice job by the developers, super impressive. And again, right at your fingertips. So uh, we can get down, look at detailed information if we want. See the CPU. We're not going to get too into that because we're running this virtualized. I wish I was running this on bare metal. I'll show you a little more, but got to use virtualization for the now. So again, going through all applications. And again, you can see everything installed, kcalc. Again, terminal here, so we'll go ahead and open that up just so you can see what it looks like. I will say if there's a couple of drawbacks, one is I'm not a huge fan of the way the terminal is set up. Um, I really don't like graphics in there. Just a personal preference, I'm getting pretty nitpicky. Um, don't prefer that, but that's okay. You can see how the terminal looks though. If we do an ls-l, see how everything appears, and again, we could run HTOP from here if we wanted, and it would come up. We quit out of that. So again, 
probably the only drawback for me is just not a big fan of this right here in the terminal. But again, personal preference, so take that for what it is. And again, looking at all applications, go in here, scroll down some more, another system monitor. I chose to install LibreOffice, so just as an example, we'll do the writer. You can see fairly snappy comes up shows you the tip I always leave this turned on um, LibreOffice is great I don't know everything there is to know about it so I don't mind the tips if you know everything clearly you could just uncheck that box and turn it off but I'm a big fan so I'll leave it turned on but again if we go to all applications scroll down some more go back to LibreOffice just to show you so again it comes with all this stuff um, pretty cool if we look at calc just the spreadsheet version again after it's open, it becomes very snappy. Um, you saw how quickly that opened up. So again, really nice job by the team. Very responsive distribution. So again, looking at all applications here. And again, there's that Manjaro hello. So if we go ahead and click on that, this opens the window we saw initially. Again, just wanted to show you that's where it was hidden. So back to all applications. And you can see some other things in here. System settings, VLC, which is great. So we'll go ahead and click on system settings. And I'll just show you again, very, very nicely done by the developers. If we look at appearance, we can see this is just the default. I left it as such, but you can tell if we click here, we'll say apply, it's gonna change this give it a second to catch up again breeze dark kind of cool we'll hit apply struggling a little bit you can tell graphically that's okay and we'll go back to the start And you can see it's not overly happy, so let me click out of here. There we go. I just wanted to show everybody what that would look like. So again, this time I'll just take the scroll bar all the way down. We'll go to system settings. And again here, we can see outside of the appearance, uh, hardware configurations, right? So you can see video mod setting, kernel wise, again, we can see I'm running 6551. Again, workspace behavior, lots of options. So again, great job by the team. I mean, just a very customizable distribution, really nicely done. Again, input devices, display and monitor, tons of options in here, power management, Bluetooth, removable storage, Thunderbolt. Just again, fantastic job by the developers. All the options you could want. So let's look at a few more things. So within here, we've got Dolphin as our file manager. You can see we've got the uh, ISO from the install here still mounted. Just a 32 gig drive virtualized. But if we go ahead and look at any of these, I don't think there's any items in here by default. There is not, so we can go in here, create new, and we can just say empty file, and we get a test.txt make it a text file and you can see how it would appear and then if we wanted to open it we could open it with Kate and we can type this is a test and we'll go ahead and save that get nice and snappy Kate's a great editor so we go ahead and we'll open just to make sure there it is and there's our changes so again Dolphin is the file manager nicely done Aesthetically pleasing. Up here, you can change the view, compact, tree view, or go back to the default. Again, becomes personal preference. Just make the window a little bit smaller, close out of it. So again, really nicely done. Big fan of Dolphin. Down here, we've got all this broken out per tools. So development, education, graphics, 
web browser just show you and in here just gonna go to distro watch because it's a great site shows you all the distributions and who's downloading and installing what and here we can see Manjaro currently is ranked number five you got MX limit Linux at the top followed by Mint followed by Endeavor followed by Debian and then Manjaro uh, definitely give distro watch a few clicks it's a great website they've been doing it for a long time big fan kudos to the folks at distro watch keep doing your thing again pretty nice browsing experience with Firefox you can tell Here's all the stuff installed by default, supporting Manjaro. Kind of cool. So again, oh, you can see, there I am, logged in to the hypervisor into this particular VM. So we'll close that out. We're actually gonna go ahead and quit out of here. Don't need to see that anymore. And then under multimedia, you can see we got Lisa and VLC. Big fan of VLC myself, plays pretty much everything. Office, again, Kind of looked at writer and calc obviously a few more things under there settings again tons of ways to customize manjaro system again a little more granular we can see everything here and i didn't click on this before i don't think so we'll go ahead and click on this just to show you what it looks like so again kind of similar to windows task manager but better because it's on linux again if we want to look at cpu history memory and swap network here you go Nicely done. So many different ways to monitor your system. Again, you can see how that all fills in as we give it a little time. Again, looking at that process table. So under system, uh, I don't think there was anything else I wanted to show you, but just go through here again. So a couple different monitors, KSIS guard, the regular system monitor. We'll go ahead and click on that. Again, this is what we saw a little bit earlier different way to look at it show you applications look at our history kind of cool to see that and then processes again so the Manjaro folks have done a really nice job giving you everything you could want in terms of seeing what's under system management and how well your system is performing under utilities again there's Kate man's text editor Bunch of other stuff in here. Pretty cool. Arc is the archiving tool. Always like to pop open the calculator just because. Love to do math in our head, but nice to have a calculator as well. So overall, really impressed uh, with Manjaro KDE 2304. Again, just on my first test drive, really enjoying the distribution. Aesthetically pleasing, extremely well done, well put together. Would love to see a GNU image manipulation program on here. By default, it's not. That's okay. Uh, big fan of that software, though. Use it all the time. Again, and we can see all the stuff they've packed in here by default. But the great thing about Linux is if they don't currently have what you want, just install it. Get familiar with the terminal. Install it from the command line. Makes life very easy. But overall, just super impressed with Manjaro Linux KDE 2304. Great distribution, lots of good tools installed by default. Very aesthetically pleasing. Job well done to the team. Again, if you like it, go over to the Manjaro folks, donate to them. Uh, everybody's working really hard on that distribution, and it shows. And this concludes our Linux review for today. Thanks, folks. Uh, hopefully, you can hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If not, that's okay, too. And uh, appreciate you taking some time to watch this video.